itching and get on with this Q&A here. Wherever you are watching here, welcome to the show that hopefully never ends. And welcome to this sort of date here, very Christmas festive feel here. And welcome to Wednesday the 21st of December 2022. Now, a warm welcome to you all. It's just me here in the chat here, even if you're watching on replay, we appreciate your thumbs up. And of course, if new people subscribe to us, free or charge, make sure, of course, you tell all your friends and neighbours. And of course, yes, it doesn't cost you a penny to subscribe. Hopefully, people will uh, realise that we're on air right now. And of course, yes, hello to everyone right now, wherever you are tuning in. It's just me today at Nicolini Orange, which actually, I'll tell you the truth, of course, the NAR will not happen tonight. Unfortunately, it has to be cancelled for, of course, the simple reason. And the simple reason is that, of course, um, Giuliano is suffering a knee issue. So that means, of course, he's out of action for a little bit until he fully recovers. Nikki Gibbs is in the chat, the first one, um, which, of course, we always say hello to our mods already. How are you tonight? I am very good tonight. Thank you very much. I'm sure, of course, Giuliano, if you can hear me in the other room, please do come in the chat and say hello to us um, because our moderator is here tonight. So there we have it. Uh, we'll hopefully be here for about an hour or so at the very, very latest here. And I've got my, um, of course, it's the wrong way round, actually. Um, so I will start with that, actually, before I spill it all over the place here. The old-fashioned touring with us, former logo mug there. So, right, um, what I'm now going to do, I'm going to enhance the sound a little bit more. So you might hear a little bit more clearer sound. So if I plug this in right now, um, oh, there you go. Welcome. Um, let's see if I can... Uh, do it like that. Um, does it sound a little bit more clearer like that? Um, so I'm using the microphone like this. I might have to move it down slightly here. So you might hear some clanking from time to time. So, yeah, I think I'll leave it just like that. Hopefully the sound is a little bit better than it originally it was a minute ago. But, yes, my camera is on charge here. So, of course, uh, being on charge, it is right now connected to a charger which hopefully means the battery won't run out at any time because it's um, a scenario where nothing is worse than a battery going completely dead when you're on air so of course um, if you ask us any questions along the way feel free to do so but i will have be having a chat tonight uh, to see how everyone is uh, I presume, of course, Nikki is all right. And hello to all our mods, wherever you are watching entirely. So thank you very much for the thumbs up. Whoever done that thumbs up, by the way. And, uh, of course, so far we've got uh, 494 subscribers. We did have the 95th one, but I don't know what happened to that one. But hopefully by the end of this evening we'll gain that back. But, yeah, if you notice the logo, of course... Um, says uh, nice to see you <laughs> i want you to try and answer just for fun where that actually came from so yeah i can see the live thing coming up now oh oh yeah i always have to turn this down don't i um which makes it really frustrating to be able to do that all the time i can see julian in the chat now hello to you which is our other mod here we need some other people tuning in as well. I'm sure they will come in as they are going to come in, basically. So, yes, if you haven't already seen the Costa Coffee kind of video, would you visit this Costa Coffee, which actually is in a little bit of a place called Haverhill in Suffolk. And uh, do check it out. It's uh, about eight minutes long. I thought I'd narrow it down to that sort of time. And it's definitely worth checking out. And I use some really, really good colours of the edit suite there. It's a lovely little software that we use for, of course, the editing part of the system here. Um, as Julian said, any questions, do say. 
So I will share this stream, if I may. So um, thank you very much, all of you, for tuning in wherever you are watching right now. Um, I'm trying to share the link everywhere as well possible. So, yes, um, it's a scenario where I'm just having to kind of like share the link everywhere I go. Um, I'll be talking about other things other than touring with us because it is a kind of chat, uh, chat show, not a chat show, um, as in uh, a swear word, what I was about to say there. It's a chat show. So it's welcome to anyone who wants to ask a question of perhaps what we're doing next. And, and I'll probably um, tell you pretty much uh, what the next live hopefully will be. Well, um, the last live that we did in Beres and Evans in Suffolk, of course, um, didn't go as well as we thought it would. Um, it sort of cut off towards the end of the stream. I think the signal went a bit berserk. So I'm hoping to be able to try that again tomorrow. So, yeah, that is the plan for tomorrow. A last live before the end of the year, as in a little bit of a tour. Okay, uh, we're not an actual walk channel as such, but of course we are touring with us where we tour places as well as doing other bits and pieces of the channel. Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. Okay, what with all what's been going on and all that kind of thing. I'm now sharing this on the Havel site and uh, of course there's other sites that uh, of course hopefully people will pick us up on. So, yeah, we're also on True Social, which is a brand, brand new social media network site here. Uh, did watch the Costa Coffee. Very nice video. Thank you very much, uh, Nikki, for that. Um, yeah, it was a kind of nice video. Uh, would it encourage you to actually visit there? That is the question that I would ask most of you out there. Would it encourage you to actually go to the Costa Coffee in Haverhill? Um, obviously, it was a showbiz trick where, of course, you might have noticed or may not have noticed that, of course, it wasn't coffee. Would you like me to do a coffee one next time? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be <laughs> screaming out for that a little bit later on. In fact, you might be doing that now. But as I say, going back to the True Social, which is another kind of media site, very similar to Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. Of course, True Social is available. And, of course, it started up by Americans. And, of course, uh, gradually touring with us, got involved with the True Social. You can post anything you like on there without being cancelled, basically. <coughs> Excuse me. So what is Julian saying? Let me just catch up with what he's been saying, because, of course, it comes up on the screen and then it disappears. Of course, yes, unfortunately, um, it was closed today, the uh, cost of coffee. But, of course, I was able to do the video yesterday. That's when it happened. And, by the way, I don't know if anyone's noticed that, of course, I do date the uh, filming. So people know when I've actually done the dates. Uh, so, yeah, that's something that uh, not many people do. But, like I say, um, it was broken today, according to what Julian said. And I quite believe that, actually, um, because of a broken coffee machine. That was a little bit unfortunate. Uh, so the whole shop was closed, I believe, Julian, if you're still watching him. So, yes, um, I will share a link. Um, I think some people share the link right now as well. Right, see if I can share it right now. Um, if anyone's tuned in that uh, has got the link, hello to you. Very good evening to you all. So, yes, a very nice evening to everyone, wherever you are watching. Uh, that is unfortunate that the coffee machine is broken. Well, that could happen anywhere, you know, and it's just a scenario where you just have to have a bit of potluck in... Um, places like that so there we go um let's see if i can share this out because uh, you know i haven't had much time to do this but of course um we like to share the link everywhere possible you know and uh, to get ourselves out and about there so people know who we are 
and uh, know what it's all about here. A lot of people ask, you know, what is it all about? Well, basically, we are a video channel and, of course, a community-based project. And, of course, um, none of us are making huge, great profit out of it, except the actual channel itself. And, of course, every um, penny that is uh, gifted towards goes goes towards expenses and all that kind of thing. We might make a little bit on top, but, of course, there's nothing else that we earn ourselves. If we did do that, we'd be able to go on expensive holidays. But, of course, at the moment, we can't do that. So, yeah, we have to... Um, rely on um, sort of stuff uh, that has been sent to us you know by a support the other thing i want to mention is um i don't know if anyone wants to actually um check this out um they can actually send me a coffee now this is a new feature okay um just um below the um, the Costa Coffee video, which is that one there, that you might have seen already. Um, so next time we go live, um, or any time we go live, you can actually buy me a coffee. That is a great, uh, that's a sort of great way, sorry, to um, support the channel as well. Uh, buy a coffee um, for Tori with us, or a decaffeinated coffee for, of course, the team that help out as well because of course um if it weren't for strawberry um the channel of strawberry we wouldn't be um successful and of course our moderator mickey gibbs as well as scott smart and of course um uh, foxy b is also one that has returned to us i don't know if she's going to come in tonight and have a bit of a you know moderation session um and uh, yeah, it is nice that she recently returned to us to uh, subscribe to the channel after having a break. So yeah, it's nice for people to return when they have a break and they return and come back in a nice kind of hearted way. So welcome if you've just joined us. Tell us where you're watching from and tell us what you are watching at the same time as us. Or maybe you're not or you might be chilling out on an evening like that, a festive evening as well. Um, something I want to also say about the um, other thing that I've been doing recently is on um, the Facebook page. Um, I have been recently doing a session, and I've called it Nick Giggles. Um, it's not my actual other stage name, because a lot of people have been asking us why we changed our stage names a lot. Uh, well, it's only me that's changed, and seems to be at this point. <laughs> but um, I would say that, of course, the change is uh, because uh, we like to change it to a different direction. And, yeah, what I've been doing on that channel, it's called, which is what the show name is called, Nick Giggles, which I decided to call it yesterday, Nick Giggles, for the reason of this. And Nick Giggles is just a bit of a laugh and an entertainment kind of program. Um, and, uh, of course, I thought I'd do something festive. This is only for the festive season. Uh, but whether I think of doing something similar in the future, I don't really know at this point in time. But, yes, um, I do hope that you are able to spot the festive versions, which have been on We Love Havel UK, which is affiliated with Touring With Us. So we've been going for 15 minutes so far. Welcome to the channel if you haven't just um, switched on earlier. And I'm just showing you the video there of, of course, yeah, that's the receipt of the Costa coffee there, uh, which you might have seen already. And you can see, of course, I used a lot of good colours in that. And as you can get, of course, which is a fantastic feature on YouTube, a bit of subtitles nobody's actually typing that nobody bothers to type subtitles they just automatically come apparently so and the video lasts for about eight minutes or so but yeah brilliant stuff so if you feel like that we deserved a sort of coffee in between our lives uh, whether it's now or actually whilst we are touring 
doesn't matter which one you do, but if you fancy doing that, one of us could have a coffee. And there is a way that you can actually distribute, uh, is the right word, a, a coffee. Um, and, of course, yes, you could do that um, by, of course, um, just going on to this link here, which is uh, what you need to do. And, of course, yes, uh, that is superb, isn't it? Um, so, there you go. And, of course, uh, you know, one coffee, three coffees, five coffees. I don't think we'll drink that much, but, of course, you can put your name on there, which is optional, and say something nice and uh, support five pounds. So, yeah, that is a great way to support the channel, by the way. So, yeah, anyway, um, so tomorrow, hopefully... Um, probably around about lunchtime ish. Um, there hopefully will be a live in a beautiful little um, market town and um, a historic tourist attraction town by the name of Berry St. Edmunds. Now, we want to do this again. I decided to because of this reason because the signal went last time and I want to give it another go for the last time. And the last time of opportunity before, of course, the train strikes happen again, which is going to be the following week. All this week, trains will be running, um, you know, not at the same time as NHS strikes. But, of course, you know, we are doing it for that reason. So, yeah, it's a scenario where, of course, uh, we are going to start with that. And if there's anything else you'd like us to do, please do let us know in the comments um, where you would actually like us uh, to um, end up. But I'm now going to go through a poll, if you just bear with me, a poll which, of course, um, I did as a community poll recently. Uh, which seaside would you visit the most? Well, the result was astounding. 60% of you said Great Yarmouth and 40% of you said Galton. Well, we'll be doing Great Yarmouth again at some point, maybe for uh, during the day a visit. And then, of course, maybe uh, Galton is on the cards. I was thinking in the new year... Um, Anything about Hatfield, do say. <laughs> Hatfield, eh? Well, of course, Hatfield is just, just amazing place. Uh, if you haven't already checked out the Hatfield um, Harps, Harpsy Field um, Spoons, at Harps, Harpsy Field Hall, I think, or Harpsy Field Hall, yeah, I think that's right. So, of course, if you haven't already checked it out, make sure you do. Uh, hello, Strawberry. Good evening to you all. Hello. Uh, welcome to our mods. Uh, and we had uh, Nikki Gibbs coming in as well. And now the moderator comes in. Uh, hi, Strawberry. Without the capital letters there. Hello. Brilliant that you're all tuning in here. So, of course, the next planned live is in Beres and Edmonds. Unfortunately, it will not be in Haverhill for quite some time. Actually, that's a joke that, of course, I'll uh, forget right now. But actually, we will be going to Haverhill because I know, Strawberry, that is your favourite place. Perhaps we will do a live there, walking from one end to the high street, right away to the other um, side. And, of course, um, there'll be opportunity for you to walk in the charity shops yes brilliant stuff brilliant brilliant so make sure you hit those thumbs up um i've got so much to say on hatfield today need these train strikes right okay um so train strikes let me just read that again because um you know oh that shouldn't happen <laughs> Uh, so bear with me just one second. Um, oh, uh, Nikki says hello to Strawberry. So hello. Oh, we got 23 views. That was quite surprising as well. Uh, so quite surprising. 
Oh, um, I'm repeating myself here thousands of times here. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much all for tuning in. You're all absolutely wonderful. If you're new to this channel, make sure you um, subscribe to us. Hi, Jason. I don't know which Jason that is, by the way. There is one from We Love Great Yarmouth who has been an all-time friend of ours for a long time over on the line here. And I've always promoted stuff uh, regarding Great Yarmouth on the We Love Great Yarmouth page. So massive up to you uh, if you are that Jason. There might be another Jason there. But, of course, he says, I hope you are well. Well, in actual fact, we are well. Thank you very much. Well, it's just me, but, of course, uh, Giuliano is in the other room. I don't know if he can hear me right now, but... Uh, well, my voice don't have travel. And, uh, yeah, if you notice, we've got a nice little half of a background here. And it looks, the other half, kind of like a, a geography sort of set. Like we're in a school of some kind. But, yeah, yeah. you remember those school days. Yeah. Uh, despite all the teachers striking in January. But, uh, <coughs> excuse me, cough, cough. So, yeah, um, need these train strikes to end. Yes, I thought he was for the train uh, strikes, but totally the opposite. I totally agree with you. So that you can actually travel. Absolutely right. Well, write into GB News and you might get an answer. Uh, if you write into the BBC or the mainstream media, like, of course, Sly News and, uh, of course, um, is it Sly News? That's what they call it, isn't it? And ITV... Well, right into those and see if they will respond to you. So, yeah, there you go. Um, right, okay. Um, Julian says, or Giuliano Plum, as in fruits, says, uh, I know how you feel. Um, so, yeah, there's no music, but it will return on Friday. He's got it as in spelt fry, as in like you're frying eggs or something like that. There's been an egg sortage, by the way, but of course... They have returned in spoons, by the way. I just wanted to clarify that. Um, but it will be on the 27th of December. It will be part of the Advent Four and Christmas carols. That's, well, that's providing, of course, your knee has been sorted by then because you've been having your antibiotics. Yes, antibiotics are good. Anyone here a doctor? Uh, who here is um, working on the NHS tonight? I just want to ask, um, does anyone actually know about antibiotics? <laughs> Not that we don't know already, but of course I just want to ask if there's any NHS people um, to save, uh, calling them up thousands of times. But uh, bear in mind, let's hope that nobody actually gets drunk, uh, of course, on, uh, on Christmas uh, Eve or even Christmas Day, you know, come to think of it. And uh, I think it's quite common sense, you know. We do not need to be told, um, you know, what to do in this world uh, other than use our own common sense. So, yes, um, every four hours for antibiotics. Yes, I presume you work as a NHS uh, person. Um, I think I've got a member of a family that works in the NHS, but she, she's not on at the moment. Um, yeah, Nikki Gibbs says, hope you feel better soon. So, of course, um, any questions on the video so far? Feel free to ask any questions as we go along. This is the gateway, um, well, halfway through the week. Um, I was going to say the gateway to the weekend. But that's Friday, isn't it? <laughs> it's not Friday yet. But i tell you one thing. We don't want to give you Friday yet. We want to just stay on the one you're with right now. But, uh, yeah, um, on some, mine is up to 12 hours. That's talking about the antibiotics. Okay. And let's hope that we can be able to do a, um, maybe, that's what I got in thought, uh, whether you people here would agree with this to do a promo in visit um, i'm hoping that berry st edmunds will be good for for a solo visit to start with and of course if people are interested uh, like anyone that is watching now they might want to be intrigued by going to a, a premier in 
Apparently the breakfast in the Premier Inn is quite nice, actually. Um, so, yeah, apparently somebody said it was better than Travelodge. But I think it depends where you go, I think. So, yeah, it might be better in some Travelodges somewhere else. And, uh, you know, I think it depends on the destination. I really do think that. So, yeah, we've been to a lot of places and there's lots of variety of videos that we have been to. But no one has actually guessed what place, because it is a place that I've only been once. And there is a video of it on the channel. Just for fun tonight, what place is it that I went to? um a few months ago um and the logo is the logo which is the current logo of touring with us there is a place where the photograph was taken with the words on top of the actual uh, logo so if you think you know from now until the end of the program where well, you've got at least over half an hour so of course hopefully um you'll be able to give me some kind of answer to what you think that place is it is a sort of place i've only literally been once that's when i was really hurting on my ribs but i feel okay now and of course you do have to go on there on the choo-choo otherwise known as a train well in kids terms it's called choo-choo but in adult terms it's called a train train <laughs> that is great isn't it <laughs> How wonderful that is. So, any questions, even from our moderators, we can have some questions as well. Everybody's welcome to, of course, give us some sort of questions. Uh, I'll be talking uh, towards the end of the programme. I won't do it uh, now because it's a bit, well, it's a little bit early for that. Um, but I will read out some of the weekend fixtures as well. Because I know we're looking forward to some of the Premiership fixtures that will take place on the Boxing Day. Okay, there won't be any football on Christmas Day because they all want to be with their families. Wow. They are so highly paid, these footballers. Of course, they deserve a break, don't they? <laughs> anyway, uh, so choo-choo, Nick. Oh, thank you very much for that. So when you want to come on a choo-choo with me, with uh, your bestie out there. I am in a friendship, by the way. I don't mind announcing that. And uh, that person knows what it's all about. I'm in a friendship with my bestie. Which bestie is that? Uh, well, you're all besties, actually. Uh, all, every one of you watching now are besties. Uh, <laughs> if I was to pick out a bestie, who would I sort of um do i would like to go to out and about again i know you do i know you do um so do i it helps your mental health anyone suffering with mental health honest to god this is a good scenario get out and about when you can because it depresses you if you stay locked in there forever uh, which is what um you know we think all this striking thing is a bit sort of childish, as we know. But, of course, um, I think it's common sense. A lot of people would actually say that. Um, right, OK. We've got an answer of uh, what Jason said, um, uh, who's on the comments there. Thank you very much for your comment, by the way. Um, says it looks like Biggles Wade on your profile. We'll find out at the end of the programme and remind me to reveal the answer. We've been to Peterborough, of course. That's another place. There's a few places I'd like to go in East Anglia that, uh, of course, we haven't yet checked out. And um, I'm sort of kind of 50-50 on it. I want to get there, um, but, you know, I need to discover it before I bring someone else along. But I could do it at the same time as someone else as well. But, yeah, um, going back to what I was saying, you know, uh, I can't actually remember what I was saying. <laughs> no, it's good to get out and about um, with mental health. It really, really is, is good for confidence-wise, and we do not need to be locked down. What it seems to be with all this um, striking, it seems like uh, sort of like a childish game that nobody wants to happen forever. I don't think it will happen forever, personally, but, yeah, let's uh, talk something more positive and get into that positive feeling. 
Uh, so we'll find out if Jason is right at the end of the programme. And uh, do stay with the one you're on for that one. Uh, remember, this is the show that never ends, hopefully. And, uh, of course, yes, um, I was going to say the snow that never ends, but the snow has now ended now, uh, which has been snow good for anyone, really. Snow good, as in snow good, get it? And it's now a wet look now. And, uh, of course, yeah, we need to visit places we haven't been before. Well, when you say that, I know you've questioned this a lot, Strawberry, uh, and you're quite right to... Um, ask the question or um, say what you just said there but what I would say on that is um, the reason why we're going back to the place because we might find another part of the place that we haven't visited so there might be a part of Beres and Evans that we have not yet seen for example going up the toll gate or even of course the Mace Bearer that is a long walk by the way that's going up to the West Suffolk hospital walking all the way down up that way would it be of interest to people to actually see that area i know there's um there is a oh there's a meadow somewhere um on the other side is it nowton park something like that um and that might be worth a visit to in the summer um so yeah there's lots of places i'd like to go um would you actually um be interested strawberry to do, I uh, might as well ask you now. <laughs> Seems weird asking you now. Um, to go to um, exactly um, a little small place. Uh, there's two of them actually. There's Biggles Wade. There's uh, of course. Um, there's Hitchin. There's Hatfield, of course. Um, when the trains come back to life, which we're hoping that would do, so that we can get about and uh, showcase these places. If we don't have our transport, we are not able to do it. Um, Kings Lynn, uh, Peterborough and other places. You can list a few if you like. Uh, Kings Lynn, uh, we have visited, but we're going to do it for touring with us, uh, even for an hour or so. Uh, that'd be good, because I know you, you visited the Poundlands there. There's lots of Poundlands there, I think, in Kings Lynn. And there's a lovely little place in Norfolk, actually. I like Norfolk a little bit, to be fair. Um, and... Um, yeah, I remember when you lost your flask somewhere. I wonder if you can go back and find it. <laughs> but there's plenty of flasks you can actually get now. and Get them in pound structure in Hayville. Talking about that, actually, I must give that a mention now. There is a video shortly to be coming up. Um, I'm hoping to spice it up a little bit more um, a little bit later on. Uh, so I do take extra work care or take extra care on the work of uh, some of the videos here. They're not always easy to edit, but it takes a little bit of concentration. You need a bit of quiet. And of course, I will teach uh, Strawberry how to, to edit one day. Um, it takes a lot of hard work to actually get down to it. And uh, we use a software called Video Leap, and it's definitely recommendable. And it saves using software on the PC or your laptop. But you can put it into a laptop if you wish to do so. Some people prefer it that way. And I prefer it uh, personally on the phone. But it does take up a lot of storage. And um, I generally sometimes upload it all onto the drive. Which is the drive kind of... Um, you know, it gives you about 15 gigabytes each... Um, email you can buy extra storage but of course that comes to a cost as well um, have you ever been to chroma yes i have been to chroma thank you very much for your question there nikki um yes i have been to chroma uh, not for a while though um but yeah i have had a um sort of solo visit myself but not actually done a touring with us there it's a good question there Perhaps we can do that, even if it's a little bit cold in January. But, of course, there is ways of getting around things. We might have to, uh, we may have to stay somewhere like Norwich for the night stay uh, to do these kind of things. Because, you know, you never know what train system is going to be like and um, how many of them will turn up. Because it's not easy to get back to Cambridge. Uh, when we get back to Cambridge, I have to get back to Havel, Stroke, Sturmer. And I have to end up getting a taxi back to home, which is annoying. 
So, yes, um, Cromer I've done for a day, and I remember going there, and, uh, of course, um, I went to get some chips, and I dropped my fork on the pier. I don't know if anyone's picked it up. Probably they have. Um, maybe walk with me, Tim, he's been there a couple of times. Um, he might have picked it up. I don't know. But, yeah, <laughs> maybe. Uh, but, yes, we did do Chelmsford um, last year, it was. I felt really rough doing that. Hopefully, another time... Um, going down to Chelmsford might be a bit more better because um, I felt really rough that time. So I have actually stayed in a Premier Inn. Um, I don't know if we've got the video footage for Premier Inn because I really didn't feel like doing any video for it. It's weird, but of course it is strange but true. Uh, I don't know whether it was COVID I had or COVID or, or some people call it that. Um, but um, either way, I don't know what it is. I did feel really out of breath at that time. I can't explain it. I've had some similar things before, even before this in 2019. So, of course, whether it's any different to what it was at that time, um, Julian didn't feel it at all. He did not catch it either off me. So that proves that very point on that. don't really want to talk too much about it, but, of course, I just wanted to tell you the science, the true fact of how it was at that time because Julian never caught it at all uh, and we were kind of like doing tests and they were free then weren't they but um, no one can afford to buy them these days but like I say uh, people still do them uh, but of course I would like to go down to Charles for the enjoy the place um, I'd like to enjoy it a bit more if of course I was less sort of um I was feeling really exhausted. That's what it was. And I didn't even feel like eating any uh, spoons dinners or breakfast. I didn't even have breakfast at that time. But I felt really rough. But hopefully um, next time um, it will be better. Uh, I do have a... I think the original background picture somewhere I've still got of Chelmsford, uh, which is the Premier Inn right next to the train station. So, yes, uh, Junior said you need two trains for that. West Mercy, we haven't been there, but, of course, we would hope that uh, uh, one of our friends, Andy, will take us in the summer to West Mercy, because I remember, of course, I think I've got a video of it, uh, perhaps on YouTube somewhere, um, that, uh, of course, there was a fantastic little area where you could actually have a party outside like a disco outside there's not many beaches that do that and it is kind of like a expensive posh area and uh we did a music marathon and there was he <coughs> sorry there was heaving of people um and uh, of course um, we were freelance videos at the time and what we did then um, is we did a sponsor thing and we did raise some um, good little small fees about that uh, which was brilliant um, and uh, Julian did a half an hour organ marathon slot I don't know if we've still got the video of that but of course we've got it somewhere you know and I think Julian might have it on his own channel somewhere but what we did do is um, it was an exhausting tiring day then uh, we did go to the church of um, West Mercy, where, of course, a lot of musicians were playing in one day from, of course, 8 o'clock in the morning all the way up to 8 o'clock at night. So what an exhausting day. And somebody, kind of, uh, um, um, I think the organist was, um, is it, uh, I can't remember now, um, but, of course, is it Jewett or something like that? Uh, Julian can actually fill me up on that one. Uh, provide no train strikes. Uh, do a list for New Year of places to go. That is what we've been thinking, and you're absolutely quite, uh, quite right for that. Um, and uh, Nikki um, um, is pretty much saying what uh, Strawberry has been saying in one of our meetings, although, of course, uh, we don't discuss... Um, inside information very often but of course um you know as she's a moderator and uh, of course uh, there's only a few moderators and a few other people watching in as well um and we might as well give some of that information away but of course what places 
that we're going to go. We can't say too much unless, of course, you are a moderator or, of course, um, you are affiliated with the team. Uh, we will have meetings when we are able to. At the moment, it's difficult with Julian, uh, but, of course, we have to have a sort of background meetings like of course how we're going to set up a merchandise so that we can of course get sales coming through of mugs and all that kind of thing and it helps us to build more videos like this in the future and we can't thank you lot enough for those people that have supported us uh nikki did last year i remember that a nice christmas gift that was and uh, thanks to strawberries um donation earlier uh for the channel and as always i always like to uh donate to strawberries count as well so we're helping each other out basically this is what we have to do as a christianity nation um whether you believe in that sort of thing or at all you know um whether it's um any kind of religion kind of thing uh, so, yeah, um, oh, yes, good question. Are you still going to do those key earrings? I want to be the first one in the line to buy one. I was actually thinking of doing that. Um, I had a lot of thought to that. I'm sure Strawberry, if you're still watching now, would be interested in um, having one for, of course, her family. Um, yes, you know what family I'm talking about. I want to give a shout out to her family, by the way. If you're still watching Strawberry. Uh, so uh, shout out to, of course, young little Esme. Um, all the Gemmas. Um, Zachary. Um, and uh, her father as well, if he's watching. Or you can pass the message on to him. And uh, all of her family. You know, I don't know every name of them. But, of course, massive hello to all of you there. Uh, thank you so, so much, Um um, you know, for your support, all of you. But like I say, yes, I'm sure she will be very interested in um, a little key ring for the family as well. So, yes, um, I'm hoping to, it's just the order of it. If I was to um, start um, getting them on order, will they be ready before the next year? It doesn't matter if it's a, a late Christmas present because I haven't actually put... Well, I won't put any Christmassy detail on it. So, yes, a key ring is definitely in the cards. Uh, wait me, please. You want one. <laughs> so I'll have to sort of work out how we're going to do that. Um, yeah. Um, are you keen on having a key ring then, uh, Strawberry? <laughs> <laughs> yes please right okay um, thank you for clarifying that uh, so yeah um, I think we'll have to go to our suppliers for that key rings are easy I think you can buy them at a um, good rate and all I have to do then is submit the sort of photographs um, of touring with us so that would be a great way to support the channel if we've got some key rings as well but when they will be ready i don't know maybe i should uh, order them tonight that will be good so yeah at 12 o'clock i think strawberry knows what i mean by that um, i can't say too much about that but uh, yes it's about buying those key rings that's all you need to know <laughs> that's what the world needs to know as well so, yes, uh, we'll say what the answer is. Oh, well, why am I looking at that clock when I should be looking at this clock here? We've got 15 minutes left, and this, the show's gone so fun packly quick. I was thinking of what to say, and I sort of lost my rag a bit, and I, you know, I end up, um, of course, um, thinking of what to say once you give me some ideas. So thank you very much for all your ideas. So... Yes, uh, hopefully we'll have um, some subscribers at the end of the year, and hopefully we get some. And Alex Bailey, haven't seen you for a while. I believe you're watching from Haverhill, and uh, you are still interested in one of our mugs. You'll have to meet us down, of course, where you met Julian last time. Was it, um, I can't remember, was it, was it Starbarger or the other one, wasn't it? Uh, the old wimpy, you know, that's what, what I used to know it as. 
So hello to you. Very good evening to you as well. Have you been keeping up with, of course, the uh, videos and the live streams? We've had a lot of views, by the way, of the Subbury um, live that we did with myself and Strawberry. So, yes, that would advertise her uh, channel as well as this channel because, you know, we're here to advertise each other. Of course, if anybody wants a little uh, mention, if there's a video channel that we can mention, uh, like Walk With Me Tim, for example, or Strawberry or any other um, channel, another channel does actually come in from time to time, Walk Through Time, which, of course, I tuned in the other day. So... Yeah, gets well. Let's get. Oh, it's Jenny's. Yes, thank you for that, Julian. Let's get back to the chat now. Um, Nikki Gibbs says business cards would be good for advertising, Julian. Well, of course, it would be good um, if we had that sort of idea in mind. Because um, I've never thought about it uh, like that. But uh, business cards is a good idea. Um, you know, and uh, of course, yeah, it's something that uh, we could consider. So. That is a good idea for that kind of thing. Uh, but obviously we don't want to run before we can walk. But of course we'll get the small things going. And uh, I hope that we can get... Oh, Merry Christmas to you um, and everybody watching this tonight. Merry Christmas. I haven't really said Merry Christmas to everyone. But of course I'm now going to do that. And uh, yeah, um, that is the scenario. Uh, we, if we do need to hopefully get... A, a shop up, up and running a um, bit like what GB News has got they've got a shop up and running uh, but their items will take if you do buy, uh, buy one of their items just want to warn you it takes about two weeks to come because of the post and I, I can't understand that uh, um, but then again I can understand it so it's a bit of 50 50 on that one maybe because of the, the, the strikes of the post on Royal Mail or that it just takes ages to come over. But I purchased my GB News mug um, a few weeks ago, two weeks ago, and it took about two weeks to come. Um, but, of course, eventually it did come um, because they had somebody telling them, well, it should be on its way, you know. They had an email there. So, yeah, brilliant. Um, Jason said... Merry Christmas, Nick and Julian. Well, Merry Christmas to you as well. Oh, it's lovely with all these Merry Christmas, um, you know, um, shout outs there. And also, of course, we're not going to be saying uh, Winter's Festival instead of or Happy Holidays. Do you think that's daft? What are you thinking now? Uh, do you think that is worse than Merry Christmas? Happy Holidays. Well, it is with all these strikes, and it? Uh, they, they, they think it's uh, like a holiday, don't they? But, yeah. Um, so what do you actually prefer? Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays? <laughs> I think everybody wants to go on holiday. Jordan, do you still have a hat? Well, we have one over there down below, but, of course, I'm not going to wear it. I could wear my bubble hat, but, yeah, I can't be bothered to wear it at the moment. It's not that cold. What about happy days? Uh, 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 happy days. <laughs> happy days. Merry Christmas, 100%. You're very much Christmas styly, yes. So we need that Christmas Christmas festive feeling, don't we? Because um, uh, a lot of it's lost. And, of course, a lot of people may not understand, or maybe you do. I don't know. But... Of course, what I would say on this, I have to say this now, um, there is a scenario of, you know, I'm trying to put it in a way that you understand, that, of course, some people, just some people, don't understand what Christmas is all about and why we celebrate it. Well, let's talk about that right now. I don't want to... Preach to the world. I don't, I don't agree with preaching to the world um, you know, with all of this. But, of course, I know from knowledge, and it's on Wikipedia now if you want to check it out. But from my knowledge, the whole truth about this Christmas is supposed to be, it's supposed to be um, commemorating the birth of Jesus Christ. Okay? That is what people are supposed to be celebrating. 
and we don't know whether Jesus was born on Christmas Day on the 25th. That's what we don't know. We all presume it's that sort of day. Whether we've been tricked by that, I don't know. But anyway, uh, Merry Christmas, everyone from Strawberry, by the way. Uh, so, yeah, thank you very much for your um, Merry Christmas. It's all coming in now thick and fast. <laughs> I knew we would get a lot of people tuning in at some sort of stage towards the end of the year. Always the way, isn't it? And then when you get to January, a bit like, of course, when everyone's spent out in January, it goes sort of like quiet, doesn't it? And everyone's going, like, I can't even sort of get used to the new year. But we'll have to try and click on to the new year. So if we can all click on to the new year of 2023, that would be all marvellous, wouldn't it? And just... Imagine it is still Christmas all year round. That's the feeling that we all want to get. So, yes, we will write uh, a list of places that we are going to be doing and uh, maybe plan a few places. I like the way that we are starting to now plan, which is good, um, because I know um, my main moderator, my uh, bestie uh, moderator, um is watching now and of course i i would know sincerely that of course um she'll be looking forward to more planning you know which is what we've been doing which is great and it works so much better when you half plan you know things are going to go wrong we know that uh, no one's going to be perfect in this world there's not one person in this world that is perfect Okay, if you think you are perfect, then, of course, uh, you can always go on another planet. But anyway, um, <laughs> but uh, I don't even think I'm perfect either. So, yeah, uh, Jesus wasn't born on Christmas Day. I looked it on the internet. Wow, everyone thinks it's Christmas Day on that note. But, yes, all I can say, um, that's what we should be celebrating Christmas for. When was he born then? That's a good question. Okay, what happened in 1981? Anyone know that answer? Just for fun towards the end of the program, because we've got eight minutes left, because I do want to get a takeaway tonight. If you think I've deserved a coffee... Oh, by the way, I want to share that link now. I should have shared it earlier. Oh, sugar. Oh, sugar. So, what happened in... Uh, 1981. Come on. Anyone got an answer? <laughs> I'll tell you the answer of the logo picture in just a moment. So, yeah, bear with me. Right, okay, hang on. I've got to share something here, if I can. Oh, for goodness sake. <coughs> it won't let me share for whatever reason. I don't know. Oh, God, it's doing my nothing. Right, can, I, can it share? Oh, hang on. Oh, I can share. That's better. That's what I like to see. So, yeah, I'm going to now share it on the chat. Bear with me here. I might be on overtime here, by the way. So, what's your answer then? Okay, a bit of a showbiz trick here. So... I keep getting binged here. Uh, I'm always getting binged. Um, yeah, Bethlehem, Jesus was born, yes. That I did know anyway. <laughs> I was about to say that. So, yes, if anybody fancies, right, okay, you can do it now, tonight. But, of course, I hope that people share the link in the chat right now, which is what Tori with us has done now. Um, you know, buy me a coffee. So, yes, that's a brand new thing. I'm not the only videographer that's come up with that, by the way. Um, I'm not going to give away too much about that. Yeah, I have the link. Wow. <laughs> you can try it for yourself. And it does work because it will go straight to the Touring With Us account. So, yeah, uh, it's all been set up already. Maybe Julian can put something in there as well for the coffee as well. Um, yeah. Coffee or decaffeinated coffee would do. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, that'll keep me warm and keep me motivated and keep me in the strength mode. Come on, let's do it for the country. So what... <laughs> 
What was uh, something that happened in 1981? Anyone know? <laughs> no arguing about this one. I've got to stop arguing from now on. <laughs> Come on. What happened in 1981? <laughs> uh, I'll buy your coffee, Nick, and um, and June. I'll send it Friday for you both. Oh, right. Okay. Make sure you use that link, please, if you could do that. That'd be great. Thank you so much, uh, Nicky. That is our... Um, I believe our Christmas treat of the year. Thank you so much, Nikki, for that. Really do appreciate that. And I do hope you can stay on for another year of touring with us and hopefully we can all work together and collaborate with each other, which is brilliant. So many, many thanks to Nikki and Scott, who, of course, are watching all the way from Hertfordshire um, in Hatford, you know, and Harpsey Food Hall is the spoons that I went there. And I noticed we had to get a bus there. Well, I had to get a bus there. I remember I had a runny nose then. And I did a live on Facebook, by the way. And uh, I think it's on our channel. So, yeah, please do look at it. Uh, look at it. I have sent the link back. Uh, okay, where's my coffee to Nikki Gibbs? <laughs> uh, I think um, Strawberry wants one as well. <laughs> nice warm coffee. <laughs> oh, there, there you go. Uh, so there you go. Um, perhaps once uh, we get to know each other, then you can have your coffee. You'll be getting a meal tomorrow, so yeah, perhaps you can review it for a video. <laughs> it's called a strawberry account meal at the Spoons. Yeah, uh, definitely. And, uh, of course, we will meet up... Um, in due course, with Nikki and Scott, uh, who has been waiting to meet us for ages. And I hope that the other moderator, who hasn't been in uh, but does check in from time to time, um, Kim Smith from America, she always checks us in now and again. I think we've got Foxy B. Uh, those of you that don't know Foxy B, um, that is a moderator that has come from walk with me tim channel so yeah i always do promote walk with me tim uh do check out his videos definitely worth it um definitely the spoons videos uh which is something that we similarly might check out soon uh so yeah is your room warm nick a <laughs> good question does it look warm can you see it looks warm actually it's lukewarm oh dear <laughs> That is a smelly name. <laughs> oh, there you go. Um, <laughs> you know, if your name's Luke, sorry that I've insulted you. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> I'm only joking. There's a Luke in the spoons as well. Julian um, call, calls it something else, though. Um, he's quite offensive, though, with what he's saying. So, yeah, <laughs> I was not going to try and do that. So, yeah, uh, Nicky Gibbs, we shall meet over the new year, hopefully. Um, have to juggle it with the uh, when when the kids are at school. Yes, we did have a meeting um, on um, video chat. Uh, that would be um, great to do that again at some point. Um, and uh, yes, um, we did meet each other on video chat, a bit like um, you know Skype or whatever you like to call it, Facebook video chat. And uh, of course, yeah, perhaps we can do that, but. Of course, meeting in person is just as good as well. In fact, even better. So we can all have a celebration of the new year. Usually when that happens, we don't end up doing it. But hopefully we will. Let's do this for the country. Let's see if we can prove ourselves we can do it. Hopefully the trains will be running. I'm sure, of course, half of these um, drivers will come back because i read it somewhere in the or somebody told me in the daily mail recently that half of the drivers are thinking of coming back on the trains uh, and that is news that you won't hear anywhere else <laughs> maybe you might hear it on gb news but of course yes you'll hear it here as well that uh, some drivers are thinking of coming back because 
they can't afford to strike. And uh, of course, the more the more that it happens, it will be difficult for their families, um, who of course will be struggling because they won't get paid for that day. So yeah, if you strike, you won't get paid. Simple as that. <laughs> so yeah, um, there you go. I know the NHS do a lot of great work and all that kind of thing. Also, the army do a great work as well. So yeah, they might have to step in at some stage. Which I didn't even think that would happen, but of course it has to happen because, of course, you know, they have to do as they told. But there you go. Um, I'll buy Nikki a massive coffee because <laughs> Nikki and Scott deserve it. Um, was I right with the picture? Thank you for reminding me, by the way. We're just right towards the end of the show now it's time to reveal all answers before i cough up even more um uh, there's a problem with my server of the chat here oh it's come back now um uh, it's weird i had an error of the uh, server um and uh did anyone have that glitch as well whilst i was here i have great friends on here well i am your main one but of course we're all your main friends here uh, we are all family. <laughs> Some people think it's a family. <laughs> like Family Affairs. Uh, is that a, a, an old Channel 5 program? Anyone remember that? <laughs> or My Family. That'll do. So, yeah. <laughs> my Family. I'm, of course, Ben Harper. <laughs> Nick, come to the rescue. Not going to go that place. So there you go. That's my um, actions of the day. So it's time to reveal the answer. And I think um, if it was a prize giveaway, I think Jason would deserve it. Because I'll tell you what, he has got it spot on. It is Biggles Wade. I went there for the first time. And, uh, of course, I struggled a bit because I had a bit of a fall on, on my... Uh, ribs because I fell backwards on a chair and I also got knocked over by a car many many moons ago that was coming back from Great Yarmouth once but uh, of course I got up and I'm absolutely fine I had a second chance in life so yeah well done Jason uh, just for fun getting it right oh I see you've got a different picture on your strawberry uh, so they can see who you all are hello <laughs> Hello, welcome. Welcome to the show that never ends. And it, um, and it hasn't ended so far tonight. <laughs> but yes, we are almost um, out of time. But of course, we'll say goodnight very shortly. But yeah, I recognise the church. Uh, have you actually been there yourself? Do you let me know. Um, but yes, um, that's one place that I mentioned earlier that we could venture again because you would have to then get from Cambridge to Hitching and change a Hitching and then go up to Biggles Way that way and there is a spoons and that is my purpose of visiting there. So 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 um I would say I would love you and leave you but of course I've got a few more things to say before I leave. Uh, firstly, thanks to our mods, as in the moderators tonight. Hello, besties and besties and whatever you like to call it. Um, but uh, there will be a strawberry treat tomorrow. Um, I don't know if there's a strawberry pudding in the pipeline, but uh, lots of Christmas trees. Trust you to find one of those. <laughs> You're always finding these pictures everywhere. Oh, dear. Never ends, does it? Slow down! <laughs> oh dear. You are making me laugh. I can't stop laughing. I don't know what's coming next. I need my takeaway. I haven't had one. I've only had lunch and meat sandwiches. I'll tell you something about lunch and meat sandwiches, all right? Okay. Uh, many moons ago when I was at couples, as in the couples, uh, what am I talking about? Cooper's Primary School. Um, <laughs> I just had that, um, that word in my head called couples. I don't know why. <laughs> Perhaps that's a new thing, a friendship love. There you go. You can't get better than that, okay? Friendship love. I am in a friendship with... 
um, Strawberry My Bestie. Uh, yeah, there you go, my favourite. Ah, oh, that's why I am famous. And I won't say any more about you know what. <laughs> you just got to be careful with what you eat, basically. That's all I can say. Uh, some fats are good, some fats are not, you know. And get some advice uh, of the right people and you'll get in the right direction. So, yes, because uh, so, there's some people on here that know about these kind of things. And I didn't think of one person to ask, actually. You know what I mean, Strawberry. But I'm not going to say, I'm not, <laughs> I want to say it, but I can't. But, yeah, like that. That's why I can't say what I'm buying you tomorrow. Um, but although you will know um, at the Spoons, uh, because we are heading that way. After a live, by the way. Um, hopefully you'll be able to join my live, but of course there will be some secret little Christmas presents I hope to be able to get. Because uh, I then got to um, sort out all the touring with us money, um, um, and then of course uh, put it onto some trains that we have to travel, all that kind of thing, because we need to get around to be able to do that. And uh, the walking exercise is good for us as well, good for mental health. Um, I'm... Making me a toad in a hole tonight. Uh, what takeaway are you having? Well, our takeaway is here in the Haverhill. Um, I'll take about an hour or so, depending on demand. Uh, and they charge an extra pound of delivery, which, of course, they're never used to. I don't know why they do that. But, yeah, um, <laughs> they do that. I don't know what it's like in Bears and Evans. Do tell me if it's any different. Um, Julian, I love your brother. He is a fantastic friend. Ah, oh, that is just amazing. And she said it to the public as well. Uh, so, yeah, uh, going back to the luncheon meet here, because I uh, sidetracked you a little bit. But what I was going to say about that, when I was young, because I ended up talking about couples tonight, uh, Cooper's Primary School, okay? Uh, this is where I went to before I went to other schools and the white kind of thing. I don't miss school at all, but there you go. That's a joke you'll never get. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> there you go. Uh, I've got that catchphrase. I'll never use it. I've got that catchphrase. i never use it. <laughs> there you go. Um, I put some petrol down in it right? yeah, and put it in a jar like that and go like that. <laughs> anyway, um, let's not be rude. But no, seriously, go back to the Cooper's Primary School. Uh, the reason why I like lunch meat today is because everyone in that class did not like it. They always used to say, <laughs> like that. They used to go, ugh. Um, lunch of meat sandwich you, you know every time I mention that I just had an obsession of going on about it and people didn't like it I don't know why uh, right okay um, strawberry showing so much love tonight the church which one okay oh okay don't forget possibly music Friday if it doesn't be it's on the 27th of December in the evening Christmas and Advent for um, well, Advent 4 from 7.30ish. And there's Carols for Kings. Um, if you've not seen that before, we, of course, um, have not showcased inside Carols uh, for Kings, as in uh, the King's College of Cambridge, the famous uh, chapel, which, of course, is quite royal. And, of course, Julian has been trying to get on that organ or even walk up the stairs. He's got close to it, but never played it on it. You'd have to be very much, um, you know, like an organ scholar to be able to play that organ. It's a Harrison and Harrison organ, and it is a truly wonderful organ uh, to listen to. Um, the former director of um, King's College of Cambridge is Stephen Cleabury. He's no longer with us now, sadly, but of course, um, it's now Daniel Hyde. We actually nicknamed him. Big Mac, because he's tall. We have met him. He's he's, he's a brilliant guy. Um, if you ever hear an organ recital, Strawberry, you must go to an organ recital there. It is absolutely amazing. It is a lovely place to go to um, uh, for organ recitals. They last about 45 minutes. It's so relaxing to hear. And, uh, of course, hopefully it'd be easier to get into the chapel at that point. That's the only way you can get in free, but you can't take photographs in there. You will get told off. 
um, unfortunately, you get it done. I mean, you might be able to get away with recording something down below, but of course, even that, you probably, um, you know, um, best not to do it. But yeah, um, it's definitely worth going for a concert there for free. Um, so, what happened to there? Did anything uh, happen there? Did I miss anything, by the way? Um, what are you very sorry for? Uh, I adore making Nick laugh, and I adore making you laugh. Uh, what are you sorry for, Alex? <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know what it's all about. So, yeah, and we do the Okie Koki, and that's what it's all about. Oh, Okie Koki Koki. <laughs> Strings may la, 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 la. Do the left, right, the... In, out, in, out, shake it all about you. Do the okey cokey and you turn her around. And that's what it's all about. Now nah, that's why we live. <laughs> so, oh dear. <laughs> that's something that went terribly wrong there. I have to. I uh, can't believe I did that. But, <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't be sorry. It is friendship and love. Okay. Uh, I don't know what Alex said earlier, but, of course, we are still here. Uh, so, yes, of course, we need to encourage Alex that we are all okay. Thumbs up to all of you there. I would actually get my disco set out there. I'm very tempted to do that. But, yeah, by the way, can you all hear me very clearly? I've been using this, this little thing. Welcome to the show. That never ends here. It's like a microphone. I might start interviewing some people here. <laughs> I might start doing some journalism. I think that's pronounced right. <laughs> Do you think I can make it as a journalist? <laughs> Sorry, it made my camera go a bit funny there. <laughs> so, yeah. Welcome to the show. Anyway, um, let's not be silly now. And let's get to the point here. Um, right, okay. Did you check? Um, I've got the coins here. Um, I don't know if I can show money on screen. Uh, so bear with me on that. Um, yeah. I think I've got it. But I think I put it in there. I think it was... Well, anyway. Um, yeah, I think it was over 50p or something like that. With a couple of 2p's. That kind of thing. So thank you very much for that anyway. Uh, but uh, I've mixed it in with the others now. So maybe in the future I will count it up before I put it in. Because I've forgotten what it is. I know it's over 50. Um, so 50p that is. Somebody thought it was 50 quid. Didn't they? <laughs> Where would 50 quid come from? Although we did get, of course, a donation of 50 quid from somebody. Uh, from the Wanglers. Which we are proud of and of course you know we thank them for doing that because you know that was a great great treat that we did get and it all went on trains and traveling and all that kind of thing and of course to keep us motivated so yes if you do want to of course um gift us that coffee if you think we deserved it tonight um send us a coffee treat tonight or wait until the live tomorrow it's entirely up to you. We let the audience make their own decisions. So there you go. That's the way that I work here. And it's time now for me to get the um, takeaway, I think. Uh, the takeaway is um, called Havel Pizza. Yesterday it was USA Chicken. But they are seeming to be very, very expensive. I did not use the app, by the way, for the USA Chicken. Although we did do that on... Do you remember that strawberry, if you're watching? We used the app, and you still got that somewhere, and you can get a discount on yours. But, uh, yeah, you like Bon Jovi. Okay. Um, okay, I will do that. Uh, send a link to you after the show about the coffee thing. That's absolutely brilliant. We did link it earlier, but I will send it to you again. But, like I say... Um, Yes, strawberry remember when we did that uh, night stay in the travel lodge, right? Okay, um, we um, stayed there the night and got a lovely little room we did. And, of course, uh, we ended up ordering a USA chicken. I was late because, actually, the reason for that, I was actually um, doing a little live on my other phone, which, of course, ran out of battery a lot. 
and of course it was in a place called Marked. Um, but it was November, I went. <coughs> it's actually a place called Marked, and it, it's a lovely little um, spoons called the Hippodrome, and that is also a hotel. I'd like to try that out one day. Um, but yeah, you have to travel again by train, and uh, of course it's definitely worth checking out the place. I might try a live again there. And I realised on the day that you could get a bus to the um, train station um, if you know where to get them. And uh, if you're there at the right time. And, of course, that was why I was late coming back to the travel lodge, uh, which we ended up getting loads and loads of chicken. And this time, of course, we will try and prepare a little bit more easier. And, of course, hopefully we'll get stuff a little bit earlier. Maybe have something in the restaurant. Um, but we didn't end up using the USA Chicken app because, of course, they didn't have the stuff that we were wanting to have. You know, I don't think they do a bowl of salad, for example, which is what we're hoping to order tonight. But, yeah, uh, we usually go for a burger chips or a kebab and chips. There's a lovely little place in Haver called the King Grill, um, which, of course, does kebabs and chips and salad because uh, they don't charge for the extra salad. Okay, and if you ever come to Hay, you'll be able to recognise that. And uh, I would say this now, uh, they start from about five o'clock every Monday to Sunday as well on the Market Square of Hayville. Maybe I could showcase this for an evening live in Hayville. If you'd like us to do that, um, you know, that would be fantastic. If we get some demand, because we've had a lot of views of Hayville, because Obviously, we do share to a Havel site. That does help a bit. And uh, I was surprised about the Sudbury live as well uh, that we did and that we got a huge amount. Maybe it's because Strawberry helped out a bit. It does boost it up a little bit. But, of course, you know, hopefully people will um, be attracted to that because I don't always do lives with uh, Strawberry. It's only occasions when she can come out and help out from time to time. Um, obviously, um, for personal reasons, she's had to sort of step back a little bit and then, of course, uh, doing things gradually. You know, she's got to do things very slowly. <laughs> we all have. We all got to learn. So, yeah, thank you so much, everybody that has uh, watched in tonight. Um, it's been incredible. We've had at least six people tuning in, including myself. <laughs> oh, OK, yeah, that caps us double, does it? Thank you so much for all the thumbs up. Whoever has given a thumbs up, don't forget to hit that thumbs up um, if you want to at the end. And, of course, um, yeah, keep having breaking news from other links. All right, OK. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll deal with that message in just a moment. Don't ever believe in fake news, by the way. Just want to tell you on that. Oh yes, I was going to read some fixtures. Very quickly, I'll do that, actually. I nearly forgot. I knew there was something that I forgot. And, uh, of course, I'll eat these. <laughs> you all know where these come from. Uh, from my kind bestie of all time. So, yeah, enjoy your takeaway and speak soon. Good night with an X on it. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much, um, uh, Nikki. And, uh, of course, yes, um, just to quickly remind people um, that of course on Monday the 26th of December 2022 that's when obviously the football returns of course if you're a football fanatic you will listen to this of course I'll tell you the main premiership here Brentford will be playing Tottenham Crystal Palace against Fulham that's a London derby that is Everton against Wolves and that will be with Pickford in uh, some room Someone's got a stunt double name with the name Pickford there. Hello, Mr. Pickford or Mrs. Pickford. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I um, don't know if Pickford would be playing on that sort of game. And uh, that's Everton against Wolves. Leicester, as in the packet of crisps, where they are sort of manufactured in Leicester. Walker's Crisps will be playing Newcastle. Uh, Northampton, um, no, not Northampton, what I'm talking about, Southampton, which is uh, my main team. Uh, I'll quiz you on that later on. Uh, so Southampton will be facing Brighton at home, 
and Aston Villa against Liverpool. Oh, that'd be interesting. Uh, with the Aston Villa keeper um, of Argentina facing the Liverpoolians. Ooh, wonder what way that could actually turn. Ooh, I wonder which way that would turn. Some really, really silly bets to um, go go for if you're thinking of predictions. And finally, Arsenal, as in Arsenal, will face a London team. So it's another London derby against my dad's team, West Ham. So there you go. Someone will be disappointed in that game. But yes, um, I'm sure Arsenal have probably got a pretty good chance. Although it could be even Steven on that one. Who knows? That would be my prediction. But uh, yes, some interesting games on that. That's Monday the 26th of December 2022. Have you got all that written down, Julian? <laughs> anyway, we'll say uh, I love you and leave you tonight. Thank you very much, all of you, for watching. Uh, you have been my all-weather friend for now. From all of us here, on behalf of the Touring With Us team, it's a heavy good night. Merry Christmas to you all. Until you see us on the live. Hopefully... We'll see you there. Good night.